Good morning, guys. Welcome back. I'm currently in Moldova, which is my home home country. I don't know why I said home home. It's my home country where I'm from. My family is still here and I came for two weeks to spend some time with them. In this next video, I will try to show you as much as I can the food we eat, some of the places here in Moldova. It's a beautiful country. But first, I need to pick up Marisol from the airport. So let's go. That one is Marisol. We there. Bergamo to Chisinau. Let's go get her. There she is. I don't think she sees me. Huh? Buongiorno. Hi. <laughs> oh boy, it looks so pretty. Welcome to the land of Moldova. <laughs> so we are walking now uh, in the city center of Chisinau. We picked up Marisol from the airport just now and my dad dropped us off here. And now we're gonna go uh, sightseeing. But first we will have some lunch, some traditional Moldovan food. Very exciting, huh? Yes. I'm hungry. Anyway, we're gonna show you some, uh, some sites here in uh, Chisinau, the capital city. And uh, later in the evening, we're gonna meet my sister for dinner and some drinks. So uh, we'll take you with us. Hope you enjoy uh, Moldova. So we came to this place, it's called uh, La Plecinte. It's like a chain of uh, restaurants that sell uh, traditional Moldovan food. This is a Plecinte, by the way. This is why it's called La Plecinte. It's like a pie. And so here we will order a bunch of food. You can see, and the prices are very cheap. So for instance, this right here, 65 lei, which is roughly three euros. Soups. This one is 45, which is basically two euros and a half, two euros or so. This is the traditional one. This is basically meat, polenta, cheese, eggs, I guess. And this is 120, so it's six euros. Six euros for this. We do like a lot of meat in Moldova. Dumplings as well. Dumplings are very popular here. 60, three euros for a portion. So here's the first meal. This is a typical red Russian soup. It's called borscht. And Mari's dumplings. She loves dumplings. Now on the second course, this is like a chicken stew, meat, polenta, eggs, some uh, cheese, sour cream, just a typical salad and uh, yeah we got some drinks as well so freshly squeezed lemonade and a beer and Marisol is done with her dumplings did you like them yes. we also got some plecinte this is with uh, cheese inside and this is with cabbage inside uh, very traditional Moldovan cuisine and Marisol loves it. And we also got a salad. This is called shube, which is like a coat, translation to English. Um, it has a haring underneath. It's also traditional salad. It's like a Russian salad. It's kind of like a Russian salad, I think. And finally, we got the, we got Maris' favorite dessert in the world. Oh, the it has crepes. Of the sour cherries with some uh, sweet sour cream. <laughs> yeah, sweet sour cream or yeah, sweet sour cream and some chocolate on top. The last time we came here, we didn't finish it. Yeah, I mean, look, we haven't even uh, finished the pachinte. Total was 571 lei, which is basically divided by 20, almost 30 euros, 29, 28 euros. For all that food, not too bad, eh? I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep it low now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe. Striking the wind of hopes now. Liberty's on my mind. We've taken off, we've left the ground. You, you gotta understand that we get one 
So we stopped uh, for a quick break so we can meet my sister and that is my sister. She's like uh, <laughs> And they're meeting for the first time in two years. She works right there. So we just arrived here at in the restaurant in the Chisinau. This is a bit more expensive one. A, bit, a little bit, but it's pretty expensive. Yeah, like, so this uh, is more... Compared, compared to Club Machinda, it's much more expensive. Much more expensive. Two times expensive. No, two times. Yes, you can see here there's an extra zero to everything. <laughs> so I got uh, myself a cocktail with a lot of ice and some wine. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. This is salmon tartare with some avocado and a regular house salad, I think. And my sister got a uh, chicken breast with some asparagus. And my sister got a uh, duck breast with some uh, mashed potatoes. And truffle, truffles. Truffles? truffles. Yeah. yeah. No, they don't look like truffles. Duck breast with we left the restaurant and we came to this uh, pub called uh, Piane Vishnya here in the center and uh, we bought this uh, traditional drink which is made out of this uh, sour cherries, Cheerios. I'm not driving today, so it's all good. Morning, everyone. It's the next day. Last night we came home. My dad came and picked us up from uh, Chisinau. And now we're home having breakfast. Marisol is having her favorite breakfast in the world, which is the um, blinchiki, I think it's called. Sour cream and some jam. Mm. Mm -hmm. Later today, we will go to the Krikova wineries, which is the famous underground tunnels uh, full of wine. Until then, we'll hang out at home. Kika, where are we going? So we arrived at uh, Krikova, and now we are just walking towards the cellars which are 200, 300, 400 meters away. So we parked here because I don't think there's parking there. So let's go see the wine cellars. This is a map of what it's supposed to look like. The cellars, it's an underground maze. It's supposed to be 120 kilometers long. <laughs> the tour it was one hour and a half we had some wine at the end 
Might have still had the uh, three glasses of wine. Plus, three. plus three more <laughs> because I have to drive, so I didn't drink. Uh, and then we got uh, three bottles made from local grapes, I think mostly, right? Fetasca Alba, Fetasca Niagara, those are the grapes. And now we're going to the car and we will drive back. My mom is waiting for, for us with food. Let's see. I hope you enjoyed the Krikova. It's pretty spectacular, actually. Very touristy and apparently Vladimir Putin, so the Russian president, spent his 50th birthday uh, at Krikova. Pretty cool fact. So today's the next day. We came uh, to the capital city again. We're gonna meet my sister later in the evening and Overnight, we're gonna stay at this hotel. Let me give you a quick tour of the hotel. So this is the entrance, the bed, king size, or double king, <laughs> mini bar with drinks, I think. Oh yeah, they do have alcohol here. And the AC, very important, it's very hot here. I like the colors and the balcony. It's pretty warm outside, but we have an AC, so no worries. And then later we have an hour of massage, spa. Here's quickly the, the bathroom. Pretty nice. This is disinfected. So we paid for this uh, room uh, 60 euros. Yeah, 60 euros. And then for the massage, it's, it's 20 euros per person uh, for one hour Thai massage. <laughs> up from the massage area it was an amazing 60 minutes very relaxing and now we are getting ready to go uh, meet my sister in the city we are at the restaurant we're gonna have dinner at it's called sisters it's here in the center look very nice Here's my sister. Cheerios. Moldovan wine, Petasca Alba. The main course just arrived, so I got some uh, steak with mashed potatoes. Marisol got some octopus, and my sister got uh, fish. Dorado. Dorado fish see, with a, a green rainbow. Pofta buna. Pofta buna. And of course, we have to finish up the night with some nice looking desserts. This is a mixed, and this is some kind of tiramisu with panna cotta. Happy? I need to try. <laughs> this is uh, Chisinau at night. Basically the same landmarks we saw the other day, but at night. Time to say goodbye to our hotel. Mari is ready. And now we're gonna go back to the city, uh, spend a few hours and then later in the evening go back to Nispore, the hometown. Let's go. So our breakfast spot is this place called Creme de la Creme. To start off with, we got a coffee, orange juice and some green tea. Marusa, where is your green tea? What are you waiting for? 
It's simmering. Is it worth simmering? <laughs> it's uh, sure. Isn't it? Simmering, I think it's like when it's boiling super slow. Let's see. Maybe, whatever. It's, uh, it's the uh, infusing. Yeah. <laughs> and for the breakfast, this is some it's our egg, eggs benedict. Benedict. And Mari got some food. <laughs> what is this called? I think they're Moldova. They, on the menu it said pancakes with cheese and raisins. Oh, pancakes. Cheese and raisins. So, the breakfast that Petika had was not enough. So he decided to order two cakes, another coffee, and he better eat everything. And funny enough, here, Americanos, they bring you a shot of espresso and hot water. So you have to mix it. Which is very interesting. I haven't seen this before. And now you have an Americano. So yeah, two chocolate cakes. Let's see how they are. This is one of the best cakes I've ever had. It has like multiple layers. Some uh, sponge, some... Whatever, whatever. <laughs> some other layers. <laughs> I'm so bad at explaining desserts, huh? And it has a bowl here. I don't know what this is. But. It's This is a typical market here in uh, Moldova where people sell uh, vegetables, fruits. $6.90 per kilogram, potatoes, 30 euro cents per kilo. They sell everything here, everything you want. You got 11. Yeah. We stopped for a quick lunch. Uh, we got a kebab, Moldovan style, with french fries inside. And Mari is just having some fries. We have a few hours to kill before my dad comes and picks us up. So we stopped at the local uh, pub here in Chisinau called Lake House. So we started with um, some tasters. This set is 100 lays, which is 5 euros. So Mari, what do you, what do you think about Chisinau? I like the food a lot. I like also sightseeing. What were your favorite uh, dishes? Dinchki, pilimeni, placinti, brandi. <laughs> brandi. So, blinchki, pilimeni, and placinti with cheese. cheese. Brinze. Did you like Krikova? Yes, very much. If you go, make sure to bring a jacket with you because it, it gets chilly. We did it during English, so I understood what they were saying. And it sounds like a tourist trap, but it's not. It's very nice, even for local people to go visit. We have, what, two more days until our, let's say, vacation is over and then we start working on Monday, huh? Yeah, but we're still going to be here. Yeah, so one week, next week, we'll still be here, but working remotely, basically. Yeah. We went back to Creme a la Creme, de la Creme, Creme a la Creme. <laughs> And we got more desserts because they were delicious. So we are finally having a home cooked meal, homemade pilimeni, and uh, we call it tokanitsa. So it's like a red tomato stew. 
And to complement all this, we're having a Krikova wine bottle that we bought the other day from Krikova. Still is getting her Insta setup ready. Huh? Mm -hmm. Hi everyone, we're back in Ispray now and we came to the forest. Uh, here in Moldova it's very common for on Sundays, on weekends, to go to the forest and do barbecues. So we came here with my family and we are doing a barbecue. Tomorrow is Monday and we start work. So my soul and I will work remotely from Moldova for a week. Next week we fly back to Zurich. This is how you do a Moldovan barbecue. We are now packed and ready to go to the airport to catch our flight to Zurich. In the last week I haven't recorded much uh, because we work from home uh, from Monday to Friday. We have a nice setup here. Um, quick tip is to connect your, let's say, internet modem to your laptop directly with an Ethernet cable and the speed will be super fast. And now yeah, we're having breakfast and then my parents will drop us off to the airport. I hope you guys liked the video. We will sign off here, maybe quick some shots from our journey back to Switzerland and appreciate if you guys like the video and hit the subscribe button. Thank you much. Arrivederci.